One North Main BCA's magazine show where we profile people, places, and events that make this city, our city, great. Today, we're doing the Holiday Spectacular. It's a show about the Holiday Parade. It's also a show about the Jingle Bell Run, which is happening soon, and all of the other holiday festivities happening in our fair city. The show is called One North Main. It's a great show, and now you're part of it. So everybody wave. Hey, Happy DJ holidays. Joe, what's going on, brother? Much, man. Great to be here again. It's about my seventh year. A lot of fun. Great to be nice to say 52 degrees today, too. Is there any Led Zeppelin on the menu today? Uh, probably not. Maybe maybe a little Emma and Patsy and, you know, some Jingle Bell Rock. But we could do some Zeppelin if you want. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, DJ oh, Joe, man. wait a minute. I'm hearing a voice. Follow me. <laughs> yeah. DJ Joe Lupica. Oh, Thanks. Good seeing you. Happy wow, it's a great day because not only do we get the mighty DJ Joe Lupica. We've got the one, there really is only one, the one and only Democratic Cowboy. Happy holidays, happy, happy holidays, you and yours in Brockton. I'm telling you, we got a lot of troubles in the world, the Koreans, the crime and everything, but boys and girls, don't do any of that stuff and you'll always get crowned Santa Claus. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas from the Democratic Cowboy to all you beautiful people on Comcast. I'm telling you, I can't do it out. I changed over from Dish. Comcast is beautiful. Beautiful. The free movies, everything. Always you always have Comcast. And the local access, I have Comcast. And the local access, I'm willing to volunteer my time with my camcorders right here to do any with you folks. You great, you great people. I'll tell you. Have a good day. Uh, I'm hoping that Santa's listening. I feel that I've been a good boy. Okay, good in what ways? Uh, I've done all my chores. I've kept my room clean. And I have not said any bad words. No. <gasps> Santa, it is... My friend. And how is, are you this year? You being good? I've been very good, Santa. As you know, I've tried my best. I made some mistakes, I do admit. But I did send you the list. Did you look at it? I looked at the list. And it's on file. Until you improve. What do I have to do better? Well, I think, you know, doing a little extra around the house would be nice. Making sure you pick up everything. Helping with the dishes would be really a big help. Changing a few diapers. Well, I have done the diapers. I'm getting better at it. But what do you recommend for my hands um, when I do the dishes? I, I would definitely put a pair of gloves on in your case. Okay, all right. Because I do have that hand issue. Well, you know, because you don't want your hands to be cold and chapped when you're, when you're dealing with your child. That's true, that's true. Now, Santa, Brockton's been very good this year. Yes, it has. And all of the young boys and girls, have they been excited to see you? And what, what have they asked for this year? Anything different? The, the beauty of it is, no matter how things change, they stay the same. It's still dolls and dollhouses and trucks and fire engines and all those good old standards. Because a lot of them do ask for the cell phones today. But as I tell the children, I have to check with the moms and dads before they can get something big like that. And especially pets. I always check with the parents before we give out pets because that is a commitment. You are taking on a life that you've got to take care of. So we've got to make sure the whole family is involved in that. That's a good point, Santa. And then finally, uh, finally, the city of Brockton has undergone a lot of change and it's a very diverse community. What do you have to say to the citizens of Brockton as we move into the holiday season? I just want everyone to have a healthy, happy holiday season, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I want all of our newest members to become part of this great community. The sooner that you get a hold of our community and get involved in your schools or your organizations, the more and easier every, all our lives will be in the great city of Rockton. Santa, have you dropped a few pounds? Uh, 
My doctor said that it's better to be a healthy Santa than a heavy Santa. <laughs> Santa. He's the best. <laughs> and the thing that we do is to tell the let you see in your nice heart. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh yes. Like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a little look at the five and ten Christmas ones. We're here at City Hall with Mayor Carpenter. Mayor, this is your fourth Christmas as mayor. It's hard to believe. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially when the weather's nice like this here. The, uh, the parade, you know, so many people work so hard for so long to put this parade together. We've got uh, incredible volunteers on that parade committee. But, you know, the weather has a lot to do with how successful of a day we have in terms of how large the crowd is. So uh, thinking about last year's miserable weather and how absolutely beautiful it is this year, uh, I couldn't be happy with the weather. I, I think over the four years, Jay, what we've tried to do is make this into more of a weekend event, incorporate City Hall, not, not be just a parade, but be a celebration by the city in the downtown of Christmas. I think uh, last night's Friday night lighting of the Christmas tree on the new City Hall Plaza, which we've only had for three Christmases, uh, has added something to it, the James Edgar celebration here. I think that, uh, you know, having the, the high school chorus has added a lot. So, you know, I think we've got a lot of great people who volunteer a lot of time to make this into a successful weekend for the city. And uh, I appreciate their efforts. And I do think it gets better every year. It gets better every year. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, you said it. It's a weekend event now in the City of Champions. And you were talking about the tree lighting ceremony. Let's go to a clip. I want to hear loud voices. You ready? Join us in a sing along. We're going to sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Here we go. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. ambassadors. Do you know what an ambassador is? Somebody who goes out and does good deeds. So will you think this holiday season about doing one good deed for someone else? One kind thing? Let me hear, let me hear you say, I will be a kindness king. I will be a kindness king. One more time. I will be a kindness king. Thank you, James Edgar. Thank you, James Edgar. Thank you, Mayor Carpenter. Thank you, Mayor Carpenter. Thank you, Mr. Marion. Thank you, Mr. Marion. And now, should we find out if our magical candy canes will work on our magical tree? What do you think? We'll start. Who knows how? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah. <laughs>
wants to say thank you for coming, and Mr. Marion does, all right? Mayor Carpenter. All right, well, I just want to thank everyone that was here, but also everyone who made tonight possible, the, uh, the, the quintet from the symphony, the, the chorus from the high school, everyone that volunteered their time to make tonight possible. Uh, this night just keeps getting better every year, so we love having you all here. And don't go anywhere, we have one more Christmas carol still coming from the chorus. All right. And I just want to say thank you everybody for coming. I want to say spread the word to everybody that you know. This is the third year that we've done this. Please tell everybody, tell everybody to come tomorrow and enjoy your community right here in downtown Brockton. I believe! I believe. I believe. Let's end by singing the joy to the world. For those few people in the city that don't know you, could you introduce yourselves? Corey. Brian. And Brian, I like what you're rocking today. Look at that shirt. If you can if you can pull out and look at that shirt. Wow, this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. You guys keep this place clean. How do you do it day in and day out? A lot of work, a lot of work. Straight out every day. I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone in Brockton. Y queremos darles hoy este día que vengan fuera y participen en la parada de USA Christmas Town. Somos Ashley Park Neighborhood Association y estamos allá afuera colaborando con todos y le queremos dar gracias hoy en este día. As you know, on One North Main, we like to get people and put them on the spot. And I'm getting pretty good at it. And two of my favorite people in the city are Janet Trask and Michelle Tebow. And look, they happen to be here. How are you? Good. How are you ladies doing? We're doing great. We're great. Happy to be here. You have, a, you have a name tag. That's important. Proud to be here. She's an important person. <laughs> now, if I didn't know you, I would say your last name's Parade, Parade. <laughs> a little French, yeah. <laughs> a little Francais. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, with the last name, Tibo. Tibo, Yep, yep, yep. This is just not dedicated to the parade itself or the events happening over at City Hall. We're at Enzo Flats and Brockton Public School students, very talented, have done some holiday themed work that's on display today. Check it out. There is a lot happening at Enzo Flats, and I'm here with Andrew Marathis. Andrew, what do you do here? Um, so I'm one of the resident artists uh, in the building, and I sort of help manage the space. Uh, you know, we, we try and uh, have six-week installments of shows, and um, just try and keep it lively uh, for the downtown area. What do you have coming up after this uh, Brockton Public Schools display? Um, a lot. So we have uh, a few things. We have Code Connect uh, coming in later in December uh, for sort of like a fundraiser workshop series. Um, later on, past the New Year, we have uh, Snack, which is Southern New England artist community. They're doing uh, sort of like an invitational show, a uh, big group show. Uh, past that, a uh, few resident artists. We have a sculptor, uh, Stephen Gall, who's coming in, uh, I think, March, something like that. And then, uh, you know, a few uh, painting exhibitions past that. 
And how do people in the Bro uh, Brockton community, how do they find out about what is coming up uh, if they want more detail? Ah, so the, so the easiest way, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, just do a basic uh, search of Enso Gallery. Um, if you want to see our website specifically, it's ensoartgallery.com. Andrew, thank you very much. We love the Brockton Public Schools display. Let's go to more action that happened in and around the city of Champions. Mark Lindy is to my left, to your right. He's looking through furiously to make sure that he's ready for live production. Mark, how are you feeling? It's parade day. It's the best day of the year. Really? Is it really the best day of the year? Well, I think Christmas is better. So. Me too, me too. What about Hanukkah? Hanukkah's good. This this seven days. That's true. You have seven days as Christmas is only one. What are you looking forward to today? What, what, what parade... What parade group are you really looking forward to see this year? Well, I like Lorena Campbell's uh, kids, that, uh, the cheerleaders and the dancers. They do a phenomenal job. But I love the music, the Brockton High Marching Band, all the different bands from the towns and the, the local elementary school bands. Music is everything. It is indeed, and guess what? We are going to go to the start of the parade, a little pregame party. We're going to go there and get everybody fired up. So let's go. Let's go! Where was Senator Mike Brady? Senator Brady, where are you, man? Are you in the parade? I'm supposed to be in the parade. We're getting ready to start in about eight minutes, so we're trying to get everybody ready, but it's a great crowd in downtown Brockton. It sure is, and which, which way are you going, man? There's two directions. Which way which, where are you I marching? We're coming up this way, so i got to go join my group, and uh, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season, and be safe out there. We've got a beautiful day in Brockton today. Absolutely. I like your tie. Thank Why did you go with that one? What about the Santa? Did you go with the Santa well, tie? Did you think with this it? one as long as it fits, because i got to lose some weight. That's why I'm walking today. <laughs> oh, man. See, we're getting the beginning of the action. People don't see this, all the work that's put into it. There's been a great committee that has put this parade together, and then we have all of these vendors. So, what's going on here? This looks like an old-fashioned an old fashioned kitchen table. What's happening? Yeah, we're baking for Christmas cookies and uh, just having a great time for the holiday. And, uh, watching these kids, making sure they do what they're supposed to do and make cookies. Excellent. And, and making the cookies. Like and they're making cookies. All right. Well, enjoy the cookie making process. And then we have a future, a future Christmas superstar. And look at this group. Look at this group. Hello. Look, you look, you look very happy. You're the Passer Outers. You're the Passer Outers? We are the Passer Outers. What's your dog's name? Muffin. Muffin, Muffin, smile for the camera. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's Fabiola, are you with the junior boxers? What's going on, guys? She's with, the, she's with them. Who? All right, you're with the junior boxers. All right, come here, come here, come here, Dale, come here. All right, what do you got lined up today? It looks like you have a lot of kids. Yes, our cheerleaders are here, and we're going to do a couple of cheers as we walk. Brockton Junior Boxers. We have the football teams, a couple of the football teams represented. Our flag up to, I think, our D level. Yeah, can we get a quick cheer? Yeah. All right, let's get a quick cheer going. All right. All right, line up for a quick cheer. All right, you ready? All right, you want a lollipop? I want a lollipop. What do you go with, a blow pop? A tootsie pop? Blow pop. Excellent choice. Blow pop. All right, go, go, go. Oh, yeah. She said, I'm caught. She just said, I'm caught. The box is caught. The box is caught. They're getting ready, they're getting ready. Alright, here we go. Bubbles! Bubbles! I got it, I got it, I got it! I couldn't reach it. Oh no, here comes one, here comes one! That's a big bubble wand. Did you make that yourself? I made it myself. This is probably uh, the eighth one that I made over the last two or three years. I'm Mr. Vinny, the bubble guy. And uh, it's all just pure organic uh, whale spit. Yuck. Oh, the Mata Dance Academy, School of Performing Arts, Brockton's own Mata Dancing Academy. And uh, wow, they're all spiced up today. Look at look at these outfits. Incredible. Incredible outfits today. Let's take in the sights and sounds. Good job.
great job. Hey, just wanted to thank you uh, on behalf of Brockton for running this great dance studio. We've heard about it for years. Love the costumes. Did you make them? No, we didn't. Actually, this is like a last minute thing. These are from the, the dance recital that we had this past spring, and it kind of fit. You know, the parade, the toy soldiers, we have the snowflakes, we have some cheerleaders, so... Yeah, yeah you have, a, a, are these like mentors? Like dancing mentors? These are uh, some of our assistants, yes. Well, congratulations, you do a great job. This is fantastic, this is fantastic. Happy holidays. All right, same to you, happy holidays. Oh, and we got the cheerleaders too. That's what you was talking about. Look at this family. All right, we gotta interview you. All right, all right, you're working it, you're working it. Are you marching in the parade? No, we're just there to support Shirley Matter Dance Academy. Outstanding, and you, you, wow, you're still going. I'm just, I'm just watching, you know. I'm learning as we go. <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to Newbie Rato. Newbie's on camera today, putting on a clinic. I think we're gonna have a newbie chant at some point. All right, on three, Pliff Academy. I need you to yell newbie on three as loud as you can. One, two, three. Newbie. <laughs> Equals greatness. All right, let's keep going. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you pumped up? Nervous. Yeah. Nervous. I don't know. Now, you looked lost earlier because I saw you marching up, I think, I think uh, City Hall Plaza. Where were you guys going? Here. So, where's your director? Where, where, where? All right, we got to talk to him about your path because you guys went around in a circle. All right, what are you going to play for tunes today? Give us a little taste. Santa Land Jam. Santa Land Jam. All right, give us a quick taste. Go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it. I'll deal with him. I'll deal with him. Go ahead, do it, do it. Nice. Excellent, excellent. And if you could just hold that up, that looks like a BCA camera. That is what, this is what we use to keep the sun out on our BCA cameras. So obviously we have something in common. Dude, are you all fired up? Give us a little solo, give us a little solo, man. Go for it, a little solo, come on, yeah, go. All right, we're going down, we're going down. Next, next. Obviously, you're a big deal because you're the first car we've seen. Miss Massachusetts! Oh, Mrs. Massachusetts, yes. hello, hello. Introduce you? yourself to the Brockton community, please. Hi, Brockton's old Mrs. Massachusetts 2017, Shakara Cardello. Shakara, what did it take to become Mrs. Massachusetts? It took a lot of diligence, perseverance, and just having just confidence in myself, knowing that I can go out there and win and compete at Mrs. America, so that was amazing. And you said you're Brockton's own, yes. so you went to Brockton Public Schools. I went to Brockton Public Schools, graduated class of 96, Brockton High Boxers. I was a senior class president there, so I've had just amazing time being part of Brockton and Brockton community. <laughs> oh, oh, we are here. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, I, this is a good interview. All right, Mr. Rogan, how are you doing today? We're doing great today. What a beautiful <laughs> day for the parade. And what is the theme this year? It looks like an amazing float. Tell us about it. Oh, thank you very much. The kids work very hard, and what they tried to do is represent flags from all different families that came to help to work on it on both sides. And then there are some holiday traditions up there with the fireplace and the menorah and the Christmas tree. And the kids made all different ornaments to put on them as well. So, yeah, did a great time. Yeah, they did a fantastic job, as 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 Kennedy School always does every event. And I did notice that there is a snowman up there. Could that be Frosty? That is Frosty. Wait, Frosty. Hey, oh, there's Frosty up there. All right, Frosty's up there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching. Channels 9, 12, and 98. 9, 12, and 98. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, look, it's them. All right, we're going to wave, right? We're going to wave. We're going to get all excited, right? Ha-ha! I got ya. What you wish for Christmas? We're here at 
at the 19th annual Jingle Bell Run at the Massasoit Conference Center. This is a tough day at the office, huh? This is 19 years. The Enterprise, Lisa Stratton, Steve, Steve Damish, um, the mayor's office, a lot of the politicians, a lot of the, that helped me do this every year. Mr. Incredible here. I just want to say the Grinch called me up last night and asked me to come to this incredible event. We're all Brockton citizens raising money for Helping Hands. I want to thank you all. And the powers invested in me, I want to don all of you superstars today and superheroes. It's that twilight thing. We're here with Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible, I see you took some important time off of filming uh, the, Incred Mr. the Incredibles 2 to uh, be here at the Jingle Bell Run today. I did this because I Grinch called me last night, told me about this incredible event in Brockton, all the incredible things that we're going to do for all, all the families of Brockton. That's why I'm here. I'm glad to be here, and I'll be here every year. We're here with this Santa. One, this little one. Santa. Did you run? No. Or it has grown so large that uh, Dave and his lovely wife Judy have done such a great job for the city all these years putting this on. So, DJ Joe Lupica with the 19th annual Jingle Bell Run. I think I've seen you here for the last 20 years. Well, maybe, probably just about. So Maybe almost everyone. So what keeps you coming out to the Jingle Bell Run yeah, every it's year? A great event. 100% is donated. Great community um, event. It's the best event of the year, I do. So how much percent? 100% goes to the Enterprise Helping Hands Fund. So that's pretty rare. That is for 100% to that's be right. donated back. Yeah, everything is donated. Services, food, volunteer. Everything is all volunteer, Matt. I'm not the Grinch. I'm Santa Claus. What do you think about that? <laughs> With that little heart. You're being honored by the Patriots, which is kind of a big deal, people. December 31st, New Year's Eve, divisional game, Pats Jets. Big game, could determine home field advantage for the Patriots. Big game, big game. So what does that recognition mean to you? And I already know what you're gonna say, but people like to recognize you because you do so much for the community. I just appreciate the opportunity to go to a game I've never been to, so it's exciting. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it should be wonderful. So, thank you. Thing us every year we have this run. It's the 19th year of having this event. We raise money to, for the areas needy. Every dollar raised today at the Helping Hands Jingle Bell Run goes right through a local agency to pay for food and fuel for local people. So I think um, I think in the last 19 years, we've raised close to $300,000 this run alone, thanks to everybody here and especially the be Dave Borman. Well, today is, what, December 2nd? I've been doing road races since September 1st. So after today, I can, what the heck, a long winter's nap. So uh, I'm pleased with the crowd, considering the 100 different events going on today. Um, we got a lot of kids here that are having a blast. We got a lot of silent auction stuff. Before we even um, open the doors today, we we're up $8,000, which is pretty good. Just about wraps it up from the 19th annual Jingle Bell.